our house code, the letter A. So we'll hit OK. And I currently do see A on display. If you see anything other than A, use the Next or Back button to get to the A and then hit OK twice to save it. I see A already, so I just have to hit OK once. Then you'll see device number blank blank. We're going to reserve device number one for our X10 siren. And so we'll call the lamp module LM465 device number two. I'll hit next until I see device number two. And then I'll hit OK. I'll see D02, that's device 02 type feature. Just hit OK to get to the next step. And you'll see one way unit. This particular module is a one-way unit, so press OK to pass that. To see pulse time. Pulse time is an adjustment that we could make. We'll just hit the OK button. We see 2S on display, and that's just what we want. So hit the OK button again to save it. And you'll see D02 location. You have an opportunity to label each lamp module as to which room it's in. We're going to forego that step today and just press next and we'll see by arm away. If I wanted this lamp to light up when I arm the system to the away mode, I may enter this section and turn that feature on. For our project today, we're going to press next <clears throat> until we see by memory. <clears throat> Once I see by memory, I'll hit OK and then I'll hit next until I see pulse active. I'll hit the OK button, and you'll need to hit your OK button twice, and then we'll see by memory again. What we've just done is set the lamp module to light up whenever there's an alarm event. So then our next step is to hit next until we see by key fob. Once we see by key fob on display, we'll hit the OK button, and then press next until you see toggle. I have toggle on my display. You'll need to hit OK twice. Mine has been set up for toggle already, so I'll just hit OK once. Now I see by key fob on display again. So now it's time to exit the programming and give our lamp module a test. Before I exit programming, I want to make sure of two things. My lamp module has two dials on it. The first one being the device number. They come from the factory set up as device number one, but I'm going to turn the unit to device number two. The next dial is our letter indicator, our house address, house ID. We've set it up for A, which it's currently set to now. Second thing you want to do is simply plug it into an AC outlet. And grab our key fob. Okay, so the first test I will do after I exit programming will be from the key fob. To exit programming, we'll hit away and then the OK button. Now on the key fob, you'll find four buttons and the button on the lower right corner is a star key. And that has been set up to allow for lamp operation. As I hold the star key down. You can see that the lamp is now lit. To turn that lamp back off, I can just simply hold the star key down again on the key fob, giving a few seconds for the signal to reach the lamp module. The light now is turned off. You can control this lamp module from the main keypad as well. The number three button has the picture of a lit light bulb. So that is the lights on button. And then the next button to push would be the device number. So this is device number two. If I press three, two, the lamp will light. To turn this lamp off from the keypad, the number six has a picture of a light bulb that is no longer lit. So I can press six, two, and turn that lamp module off. Remember, the X10 signals are being communicated through the home's electrical wiring. If you should have any experiences that uh, the light did not turn on for you, go check the refrigerator motor to see if it's running, believe it or not. 
the electrical motor in that refrigerator may cause line noise on the electrical lines in your home for a short time while the motor is running, which may limit the lamp module's ability to hear that signal to turn on or off. There are other modules and filters available at X10 to eliminate or reduce the possibility of this interference. So now that that's said and done, let's go ahead and cover the X10 PSH02 siren. And to do that, I'll go ahead and show you what one looks like. It plugs into an AC receptacle. It has the same two adjustment dials on it. One note about the PSHO2 siren is it should always be programmed on the main unit as device A1. The dials on the actual siren will then need to be set to the letter B1 and I'll do that now. And that's just the nature of the technology on how this works. So we set up A1 as device number on the main console and we'll actually turn the dials to B1. I've done all I need to do to this siren so I'll just go ahead and plug it into my outlet now. Okay now that we've plugged our PSHO2 power horn module into our AC outlet we'll program the PowerMax Plus console. Hitting next to I, till I see installers mode and then OK. Factory code of 9999. You'll see new install code. Press next until you see define outputs. Once you see define outputs, hit OK. Then press next until you see X10 unit define. Press the OK button to reveal set house code. Just hit OK. We've got the house code A, which is what we wish, and hit OK. Device number blank blank appears and our Power horn is going to be device number one. So we'll hit next. Device number one's on display. We'll hit OK. Type feature shows up. Just hit OK. One way unit showed up, and that's what we have. So hit OK. Pulse time. Hit the OK button. We should see 2S. With 2S on display, hit OK. Location appears, and we can just press next. We show by arm away. I want the power horn to come on when there's an alarm event. So I'll hit next until I see by memory and then hit the OK button. I see disable on the display right now so I'll hit next until I see pulse active. Hit OK twice to save it. Then we can hit away and OK to exit programming. To test the siren I've already disabled the interior siren on our main unit and I'll use my key fob, which has the panic feature, to cause the power horn to make some noise. The panic button feature on the key fob are the two buttons on the left side, the lock button and the picture of the stick man in the home. If you hold these two down together, you should hear the siren. Remember, there'll be a couple of seconds delay between that signal leaving the PowerMax console and reaching the module. Here we go. And remember to silence the siren. Simply Hit off in your code or hold the unlock key down on the key fob. Panic alarm. I will disarm using the keypad now. Off. Please enter code. Disarm. Couple Ready seconds. And that completes the setup of the PSHO2 and the LM465 X10 modules.